All right, let me show you how to build a balance beam. All you're gonna need for materials is a four by four of your desired length and a two by four that's at least four feet long. Okay, so I've got the four by four at the length that I want, which is eight feet, so I don't really need to cut it at all. And then I've got two two by fours cut at two feet that are gonna be the base or the feet of this uh, structure here. Now, uh, it's always easiest when building something like this just to go ahead and sand it before you start screwing everything in. That way you get your edges um, nice and rounded and stuff like that before you have uh, something kind of sticking out and getting in the way. So I just recommend really quick, just sand these three pieces and then we'll screw them together. After you've sanded everything, you're gonna mark 12 inches in on your two foot piece, so right in the middle. And in the middle of your four by four, you can kind of barely see that mark there, which is uh, one and three quarters of an inch in. Then you're gonna make these marks line up, make it nice and flush on this side, make it nice and square. And then you're gonna wanna pop in about three to five of these two and a half inch decking screws. So I just went out and tested this in the gym here. Um, I did add a little support piece of scrap wood here because when I was doing some pre's to it, this giant eight foot gap here was kind of wobbling and bowing. So all I did was just take a scrap two by four, sand it, pop five screws in and call it good. All right, your next step is to just really quickly wipe it down with a damp cloth and then it is time to start painting. All right, so go ahead and put some rubber on the ends and the middle. Make sure you get full coverage on the pieces that are gonna to be touching the ground, and then you're done. Uh, that is how you build a bounce beam. Now this bounce beam is, flip it over real quick so we can look at it. There we go. Now this bounce beam is pretty strong. Um, I wouldn't support it completely like this on its own where there's nothing in between. I'd always leave something uh, on the ground in between these. It will flex a little bit. It shouldn't break. It really shouldn't. Um, if you want to be like absolutely for sure that it's never going to snap, instead of a 4x4, get a 4x6 and just make it thicker. And then you don't need this middle piece and you can span gaps and things like that. But honestly, this is a good enough solution for what we got here. Um, and it actually works really well. I went out and I tested it. My heels don't hit the ground when I do precisions to it. And um, there you go. That's how you build a bounce beam.